so now as i have promised you i will going to show you how you can actually upload that file we are getting on the javascript part we have done the base 64 that means we have successfully saved the base 64 version of the image here but uh, this is not a recommended one you have to store the file uh, separately so how we can do all these things so let's see firstly you can see if i open console first and if i choose any file then what going to happen let's just open php storm we will get the image that's good then we will read its content yeah here we are converting the file data into the base 64 version or whatever you say okay so for simplicity or having a clear knowledge i'm going to show you everything from a new prospect that means i'm going to create a new route so why not do like this and with save image okay so not the base 64 version so route will be firstly get really it's an uploading of file so that's why upload image will come here and or instead save image will be good okay then again on the image controller at save image okay that's nice so this is good here this firstly have to be a post one and let's make another for a view so get image or simply again save image and this will again go to image controller at show save image and we are going to create this blade file show save image okay that's nice so we have to go to image controller let's create a new function called save image yeah save image okay so save image is good okay so let's go here yeah that's nice and let's create a new blade file so view then blade file and then paste it show save image dot blade and by the way this blade file i have created just by pressing command n on mac but if you will going to press you will not get this blade file you have to configure this on the php storm configuration or the settings part then go to editor and inside editor you will get file and code template and here you can add your own okay that's nice so i'm not going to add because i already have so that's good and let's just get everything from here and paste it here and now we have to return this view somewhere also so what we can do once more let's go to web.php and instead of get i can simply say view and view name is show save image okay so now if i go to my chrome and instead of this home if i go and say save image then we will get again the same thing because we have just copied and pasted now this is okay but as we have created the view we have to create the component also same so let's create component and again i'm using this because i have created this template so now this will be like save image instead of upload form we have created last time so we have to choose name uh, very carefully okay and uh, now again once more i will open this upload form steal everything from here paste it here and then made modifications okay so everything has to be same but the changes will come here avatar is equal to this dot user dot avatar that's fine and then you can see we are getting image but when we are getting image we are reading its content but this time we are not going to read its content what we are going to say let's just create a new uh, data called file and mark it null and then i will say this dot file is equal to image okay simple one then now we don't need this read image type thing and then here what we need uh, we need let's do one thing 
let's do one thing which is called let form okay is equal to new form data okay so we have new of the form data again this is a javascript library so then we have to say like form dot append and i'm going to append image as uh, this image okay and then i'm going to move this form inside the file so what we have done we are getting the image then we are newing up the form data so that we can uh, send data like multi part and type we have done on the html part form okay then new of the form data then appending that means adding the data inside the form and then we are moving this form with obviously all the data inside this file and let's see whether it's work or not so instead of here this dot file so let's now go and instead of this uh, endpoint we have created save image endpoint so save image endpoint and what we are going to do here we are going to just returning everything so let's say request request and this request is an image request okay now let's go here refresh this page but again we have to do one thing because here it's uploaded form and we are using new one called save image so wanna do one thing let's say save hyphen image and go to app.js file on the asset here now let's get another one and call it save image and again save save image and one more component comes called save image once more everything is good go here refresh and now this time choose file so we have chosen but what happened because we have removed everything the reading part of the image from here so let's just bring it back i didn't remember that we have to use that also so let's just grab this read part from here and again paste it and here dot read and this will be an image that's nice so let's go here refresh this page and now choose file once more and yes we are showing this and next we are moving this in a form data and appending the image then moving the form inside this dot file and passing this dot file to save image which is having function on the controller here which is just for returning everything we have so let's just upload and see what we are getting it says upload and yeah image is here which which is empty that's nice not a problem so we just have to steal all these things we have commented out and just delete from here paste it here and uncomment it so this if request has image then image name this will be client original name then store it on here and then return response of null and 202 again once more so let's go to chrome refresh choose a new file and this time upload yeah avatar is uploaded yay accepted 202 that means our code is working this means we should get an image on this public folder and you can see 831.svg is here but we have not saved again this file on our user and that means avatar is still this so let's just create a new field on our user table so let's just open this database migration user and this is avatar and next one is uh, let's say image something different and save it and we have to migrate so open new terminal 
PHP artisan migrate and fresh and what fresh will do fresh will just remove everything it will not roll back it will remove everything from your database and recreate every table okay so it's migrated successfully this means we lost our user so this means if I refresh we have to make sure we still lock in okay so once more register register as a sarthak and then one two three four five six and one two three four five six and then here it is and no image that's fine and this means you can see we have done something different here image is worker that's fine and now if i go here and on the image controller when everything is good so let's just say request arrow user update and image is image name okay so this is cool and let's go refresh and remember for save image we have to go to save image route not home and then choose a file and let's just click on upload yeah accept it this means we get the file here and if i go here and refresh this we are not getting that because here you can see it's updating but on our user model we don't have any fillable part for that so let's give it fillable for image also let's give for avatar also okay now if we try once more upload yes we should get the data and that's it here we have so if i refresh ah it's not doing again you know why let's see view save user is good but user image we have to make it as an avatar here okay so on the save image this dot user dot image okay so that's nice refresh and again it's not doing what happened uh, SVG 31 so you know this is not working because we have to say here the source has to be exactly the correct path so why not do this so I will move this inside like this and this one this is ES16 system so storage slash and now boom everything is working fine so this image is not coming from our database the name of the image is only coming from database and then our image is here so in this way we can move the file exactly from the javascript part to the laravel and to the database or in on your drive or server whatever it is that you call it but uh, this is again cool and in the next episode we will start to have the packages part we have talked on the first introduction video of this series and let's just do one thing you you can see if i choose a new file and upload it yeah it's uploaded but nothing happened this is not gone everything is same so wanna do one thing when we upload the file then after this success part let's move this inside curly braces so that i can give one more field which is like this dot loaded is equal to false okay now absolutely nice thing once more and upload yes everything is good yeah ding, 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 ding. so everything is good and if you have any doubt feel free to message me and don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye